Hi guys, welcome back to Swift. Welcome back to Swift Hill Climb Racing Club, stage four, I think. Um, it's Keith Hill in London, and uh, it's not fun. <laughs> but hey, I'm uh, in the top 10 currently right now. I will pop it up on the screen in the overall. So I, I need to do it because uh, I want to get higher into the listings. And maybe some guys drop uh, from the top uh, four or top five, and they can move up a little bit in the standings. Uh, I'm still in the top ten, which is great in the A category. So, uh, yeah, very happy with that. Uh, today, Keith Hill, um, one of the longest climbs, if not the longest climbs on the London map. It's uh, four kilometers, or more than four kilometers, almost five. Um, and it's a strange one. So uh, remember, only the time on the climb counts. So uh, there is a boring bit before the climb proper starts. But that boring bit is here only two kilometers, 2.8 kilometers long. So uh, at 2.8, the climb starts. And uh, then I'm gonna try to do my best to win it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's a, a somewhat longer climb. I'm not very good at long climbs. Uh, you saw it on the Alp. Um, I tend to push uh, way too hard at the start of the climb and encounter myself at the end of it. But anyway, we're gonna try it again. See what uh, this one brings us. Uh, these events are a little bit, these are races, proper races with proper standings. Um, but there are no, there's no draft and there aren't any power-ups and the race proper is only on the climb. So the rest of the course, which is nine kilometers in this case, really doesn't count on your standings, on your total standings. So only on the, the time on climb counts. So I'm, uh, I'm here. For uh, Keith Hill, I uh, went into my garage. Uh, some lovely shots of London. I hope I get a nice overview. I uh, went into my garage, rummaged through it, and found a, my specialized Atos. Right now, still currently, as the, of the making of this video, the lightest uh, climbing rig on Swift. So if you haven't have it in your garage please do save up for it because it's a really light bike ideally suited for climbs i did not take the millestein wheels or the roval alpinist uh, wheels which are typical climbing wheels very light um, because there is a yeah there are two flat bits flat-ish bits one after around 3.5 kilometers, which even contains a little downhill, and one at the end of the climb. So I took uh, the DT Swiss 62, I believe, wheels, uh, which is a middle of the road, uh, hilly setup. So this is a bit of an odd setup. Uh, very light climbing rig with aero wheels, but uh, let's see uh, if this is uh, the right one to get a good time on the climb. <sighs> Hello London. I'm not the biggest fan of the Special Atos. It's a little bit drag bike. Uh, it's good for what it is, but uh, I like a little bit more color. A little more aero, but most aero rigs are pretty heavy and swift. And you don't need heavy on the climb if you are pretty heavy by yourself. So, uh, uh, again, I'm not a climber uh, because, yeah, I'm from Holland. So, I'm tall and heavy. <laughs> so. I need to get my marginal gains from somewhere. And uh, that's the equipment. And uh, the hope that I will do well. 
uh, from uh, kilometer 2.8 to uh, get to the top the quickest. Uh, let's see. So the tunnel. We're uh, out of London right now and into the countryside, into the lumpy bits of Swift London. It has been a while since I've been done Keith Hill. So uh, it's a slog. I know it's pretty steep. It's a... Uh, um, Average is just below 5%, but that is misleading because there's a downhill and a flat bit at the top. So the meat of the climb is uh, pretty uh, 2 3 kilometers, 7 8 to 11%. So pretty heavy duty climbing is involved. So let's focus on that one. Right now, thank you, Kuhn. This is the fake line, start of Fox Hill. I'm not going to do the Fox Hill. However, we're going to do, we're going to up the power a bit. Two hundred watts. I'm gonna move you guys back because it's pretty standing climb for a bit.
Guys, this is uh, pretty nuts, I would say. Oh, this. Uh, you closer. I wish I could uh, ride that fast. Uphill. Now there's only two minutes of suffering, or even less. <laughs> but hey. Here's what it is. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. That was uh, interesting. Interesting. Let's uh, finish up at 10. And then uh, call it a quick set. Woo. Profit from the downhill. Oh, goody. Well, I did not win it. There was a guy slanging up it two minutes faster than I, eh? Ay, ay, ay. Very interesting. Hey. Possibly Olympian. Or a very good power, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> Who am I to judge? <coughs> you up? Who am I? Pretty old, mediocre hill climbing. Well, did went all right. Eh? It's quite good. Quite okay. Not going to lie. I'll make it 11. I need to get my heart rate down. That wasn't funny at all for 11 minutes. 
Well, that's okay. Check up on the uh, on the results. Oh, yeah. ah. Menu and right. Well, the climb just starts after a uh, 2.6k. I thought it was 2.8, but it's uh, what? Somewhat earlier, and here I think. The timeline. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, very even. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Not bad at all. So, uh, yeah. I wanted to keep it around 330, 340 watts. I dropped off somewhat. Bad gear changes, but also somewhat flat bits in the climb, and then. A somewhat longer sprint at the end where I'm at my best just to put the power down without any resistance from the road if you can get my drift I'm big <laughs> so there's more speed at the end I like it it's very nice okay critical power right um, strategy basically was talky talky talk then at around 2k upping the power to 200 watts upping the power more the climb came quicker than I expected. I expected it at 2.8, but it started out at 2.6, so 200 meters earlier. So I was a little bit late with putting the power down, and now you overcompensated. But then uh, my goal was also on the flat bit to hold the power, because uh, instinctively you feel less pressure on the, on the wheels or on the pedals, and then you think, okay, I'm gonna pedal slower, but that will cost speed and I had my uh, deep dish wheels for these flat bits on the climb to profit maximally off of them and it helped it really did then uh, the long slog uphill and finally at the tunnel at the end of the tunnel it was great fun the uh, flat bot bit started really good power for 10 minutes very good I'm really happy with that for 11 minutes, ooh, even more at 11 minutes. Come on, guys. Yeah, it's really good. Guys, that was the hill climb. I was pretty good at it today. I'm uh, not winning it. I saw some guys going really quickly. So uh, I hope I am uh, in the top three. That would be nice. And uh, it will probably help with the standings but guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like this i've got a whole playlist with hill climbs where i maximum suffer suffering in a little amount of time as possible so i uh, hope you like this too uh, please do watch my other hill climbs at the end of the series i will release a, a strategy guide how you can win or at least get a top 10 uh, in hill climbs because uh there's more to it than just raw power um again if you like this, please like and subscribe. Subscribe for the uh, tips and tricks. I will make a separate video for it later after the series has, has ended. Have a good weekend. I'll see you. Bye-bye.